Hi, this is Ross with DIY on the house. In a previous video, I showed you how to replace this vacuum breaker on an arrowhead hose bib. This vacuum breaker has two check valves in it, and when they start leaking, it's you can't stop it. You end up having to replace the, uh, the vacuum breaker, or I've got a bypass for that, and I'll show you how to install that. So if you're having problems taking this off, in the previous video we have, I show you how to remove this. Um, mine has a screw on the side because I've already replaced it once, so it doesn't have the thread lock on it uh, that's going to be on an original one. These are kind of a pain to remove. And the reason is that this top, uh, top flange or the top threaded piece right here is, has a red uh, thread locker on it. And the only way to get that off typically is to heat that up. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. We take our pliers and about 99.9% .9 of the time, you're going to find that this lower extension piece just screws off and actually comes off fairly easy. Um, the big part is this part right here. You want to put a uh, pair of pliers on a channel locks and try to turn it and finding that it won't turn. Okay, and the thing is you don't want to just, you know, try to rake on that thing because you end up busting the bib off and, uh, or busting parts off this and then you're going to have real issues. So, what I typically do, I have a torch and that torch heats up the, uh, the thread locker on this. And I, I heat it right around this area right here. I just get it nice and warm and then once it heats up enough, I'll be able to, to actually move the, uh, this top piece. So on mine, I'm just going to unloosen the screw and then I'm going to take off the check valve and under that check valve it's going to be a fine thread. Now uh, I've seen a lot of customers try to screw a hose to that and it just won't fit. I've got a, a link to this on Amazon. This is a fine threaded hose bib on the female side and on the male it's a standard hose thread. So when this comes from Amazon, it's not going to have a bib washer in here. So you just grab a bib washer from your local hardware store. You slip that in just like that. You screw it on. Give it a good tight. And it's done. So now you have a bib that's removed that breaker and that issue with it leaking is gone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we will have a link to this down below. We've had a lot of people ask questions about these hose bib breakers and the troubles they're having. This will take care of that and uh, you will need to hold on to that old breaker. If you sell your home or have an inspection, you will have to have a vacuum breaker on that hose bib. Uh, this isn't up to code, but it does bypass that breaker and put you back into business again. And uh, you know, if you're getting frustrated with the old style, breaker this takes care of that so i hope you enjoyed the video if you give it like it give us a thumbs up and check out the link below to the part and then just order that off amazon and you're good to go